Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna show you guys a few things on the Thinkorswim platform that I think are gonna help your charting go a lot easier. But first I wanna welcome back all of our subscribers and a very warm welcome if this is your very first time here. My name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos just like this all the time where we talk about the stock market and options trading and I hope you'll consider subscribing and clicking that bell so that you do not miss out on any future content. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, what am I talking about here? Okay, we're looking at the Thinkorswim platform and let's say we wanted to do a little bit of charting and we had some different styles that we wanted to put on our chart. So let's say for example, we wanted to look at the IV rank of a stock and we had a style set up for that. So we had to come in here to styles, come down here, we're looking for that IV rank and there it is, we load that on our chart. There's our IV rank, we've analyzed it. Now we wanna look at something else. So let's say we wanted to come in and we wanted to look at our top three indicators. So we come in, uh, load up, let's see, we're looking for that top three indicators. So boom, there they are. But you can see that's kind of taken a little bit of time and have to come in here and open up that drop down menu every time. But what I wanna show you guys is something real cool here. So in Thinkorswim, you have the ability to add on this little toolbar right up here at the top. And it has all my, uh, the ones that I use the most, my most common styles, I've got them saved up here. You can save up to, I believe, seven on this uh, bar here. And it's real easy to set up. So I'll show you guys how to do that here. So let me just say now I wanted to clear off my chart. I've got all this stuff on here. I wanted to clear it off. I got a little button up here. I can hit clean and it just cleans my chart off. So let's show you how to do this. So come in here to style, you wanna come into style, you go to settings, and when you come into settings, right down here at the bottom, you're gonna see a little, uh, little box that says my tools. So right now I have my tools set up on each chart. So at the top of each chart, you're gonna see what I just showed you guys there is this little bar. But sometimes that takes a little bit too much real estate if you're using it on like a small chart uh, for example, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Like if you had a whole bunch of little charts set up, uh, when that menu drops down or if it's down there all the time, it takes up a little real estate. So I don't, I have it set on each chart, but I'm going to show you how it can, you can make it where it's not always visible. So right now I've got it set up on each chart. And then let me show you, uh, if we had something like, let's say we had a small chart like this and it was a real small window. Um, and you can see that it's not visible right now, but if I roll my mouse up, it'll drop down. And that's cool because if this was always on here, it would be taking up too much space. So I don't want that on there all the time. So the way you get around doing that is on, uh, you can see on my, my large chart here, I have a pin. You can just click that pin and it'll pin it there. But on these other ones, uh, the smaller charts, I don't have that pin clicked. Now you can see if I open that up, it allows me to op uh, pop that pin on there and then I can put it down, but you can see it takes a little bit too much real estate there. So I wanna keep that pin off on these smaller charts so that it's not clogging up my chart. All right, now I wanted to show you how you can customize these buttons here. So let's say you've got this all set up. Um, but Oh, but first I wanted to show you one other thing, guys. So if you uh, came back in here to style and you go to settings, uh, you can also have the option of just clicking it and putting it on a single panel. And what that does is it just makes a single panel where you can just drag this around and just kind of move it wherever you want. And it also has the option of clicking a pin so it didn't disappear behind all your charts. But I don't like it that way. I like it the other way. But of course, it's obviously up to you guys how you want to set that up. So I always leave it on each chart just like that. Now let's say we've got it on our chart here and we wanted to customize each button. Well, that's pretty easy. Just come in here to this gear icon. You can see this gear icon just up here off to the right side, right there. And when you click that gear, that's going to open that up. And it, now it gives you the, uh, the uh, ability to, uh, to change these buttons. So you can see we got a little drop down menu. And let's say, for example, I wanted to maybe make this second one in, I wanted to maybe make it a uh, trend line indicator. So I could go ahead and come in here and go drawing tools and it gives you all these options you can customize these buttons to. So let's say I'm using that uh, trend line indicator a lot. So I can come in here to drawing tools, find that trend line, click trend line. And you can see that now it's populated it up here in that trend line. So if I hit done, anytime I click on that button right there, 
it's going to allow me to draw, oops, it's going to allow me to draw those trend lines on my chart. I can't even draw a trend line. There you go. So you can see if I wanted to look at IV rank, it pops my IV rank back up in there. But now if I wanted to do a trend line, I can come in here and just add that trend line just like that. <clears throat> and by, by all means, guys, these aren't trend lines. I'm just drawing lines on the chart. So <laughs> uh, let's see. So I want to remove that. Let's remove this one as well. Let's clear these charts off. All right. So you can see that it, we can do that with each of these uh, buttons. Uh, if we wanted to add a study, we wanted to make that button a study. You can see all the different studies that we have in here. Uh, if we had a study set that we'd saved, we could do that. Or a style, just like I'd, I'd shown you before with those styles. So it's all up to you guys. Uh, but I found this very helpful to be able just to come in here and just have that right at the tip of my fingertips, so to speak, and be able to, you know, use those up and put a, put whatever I want on the chart without having to go search for it in my in my drop down menus. So guys, I really hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, I love the Thinkorswim platform. I love using it to uh, to chart it with. There's a lot of cool features on it. And I hope that this has really been helpful for you. If it has, please consider sharing it or, uh, you know, giving us a like or a comment in the comment section below. Uh, and again, I hope you consider subscribing because we make videos like this on a consistent basis where we talk about the stock market. We talk about trading options and, you know, simple videos like this where we show different tips and tricks on, on the Thinkorswim platform. So, guys, thanks so much for joining and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.